take a look at properties of exponents and the first one we're going to talk about is the product of powers. Well, product means to multiply, so to multiply powers with the same base, all you have to do is to add their exponents. Okay? Multiplying powers with the same base. So, let's take a look at an example here. Let's go ahead and get this all up here at once so we can look at it. Okay? We've got 6n to the third power times 2n to the seventh power. Well, the first thing we want to do is we want to group our coefficients and variables. Remember, we group with parentheses. So as we group that, we're going to group, take the 6 times the 2 and the n to the third power times n to the seventh power. Okay, the next thing is to do is to remember our product of powers rule, which said if the bases are the same, you simply add the exponents. So we're going to set it up here, and we have... We still have 6 times 2, but now we have n to the 3 plus 7 power. And then it's a matter of simplifying. Simplify just means do whatever math we can. So we're going to do the 6 times 2. We're going to go ahead and add the 3 plus 7. And we're going to end up with a product of 12 n to the 10th power. Okay. Let's work a couple more examples of this. So. The first example we have is 3y to the 4th power times 7y to the 5th power. So the first thing we needed to do was to group our constants and our variables. So we're going to have 3 times 7 times y to the 4 plus 5 power. Okay. Then it's just a matter of going ahead and simplifying. 3 times 7 is 21. And then it'd be y to the 4 plus 5 power, which is 9. So that would be 21 y to the 9th power. Okay? The next example is just, we're going to use the same principle all the way through. There's just a little bit more to it. So on this one, we're going to have, it'd be negative 4 times negative 6. But those are, those are our constants. And then we would have times r to the, there's r to the first power, there's r to the fifth power. That would be the r to the 1 plus 5 power. And then we have x. There's x to the second times x to the second, which would be x to the 2 plus 2 power. And then finally we have r, and we have r, excuse me, t, correct that. We have t, and it's t to the third times t to the first, so that would be to the 3 plus 1 power. Now it's just a matter of simplifying. Remember our rules of uh, integers, a negative times a negative is a positive, so 4 times 6 is 24. r to the 1 plus 5 power would be 6. x to the 2 plus 2 power would be 4 and it would be t to the 3 plus 1 power, which is 4. So, take a minute to look over those examples, and remember that rule for taking a product of powers is to simply, if they have the same base, is to simply add their exponents together.